Uh, to me, it's proven everything, Sal. Everything? everything? You know what that means, right? Yes. Everything. Yes, everything. Not, oh, Whatever okay. you want to name, you can name it. He's proven, one, that he's in contention for the best player in the world. Two, he's proven that he is a clutch basketball player, not just a regular season clutch basketball player, but a postseason clutch basketball player. Number two, he... Number three, I'm okay. losing count, but I can keep going. <laughs> number three, he's proven that you have to mention his name along the likes of uh, LeBron, Shaq, KD, when you talk about finals dominance. Even though KD lost, KD had some dominant performances when he lost. We all know what LeBron James has done in the finals and what Shaquille O'Neal has done in the finals. Here's the thesis <sighs> statement of Giannis, which if you hear nothing else about Giannis all day today, understand this. I'm so glad they kept me off camera for all that. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> understand this, Sal. Lord. You don't appreciate Giannis, and I'm personalizing this. Yeah, talk to you me. Don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't appreciate Giannis <laughs> because you're not familiar with what he looks like. What you mean? His gameplay. What do I mean, Sel? He Kevin Durant with muscles. I've seen that. No, 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 no. He's not. If he was, we'd appreciate him. Well, he can't but shoot. But here's what. Bingo. Giannis can't oh. shoot. And because Giannis can't shoot, we are not familiar with that style of play. And at least if we're not familiar with it, we don't gravitate towards it. Oh, because Giannis sure. has the efficiency and the productivity of Shaquille O'Neal. But Shaquille O'Neal never left the paint. Giannis brings the ball up the court. Mm. Giannis is 6'11 with a handle, mm. but he can't shoot. Mm. So we don't like that. If you can't shoot, you're not doing nothing for me, Giannis. Mm. However, you go 15 of 22, drop 40 points. Next game, you go 14 of 23, drop 40 points. 13 to 17 from the free throw line. But because Giannis doesn't do it how we're used to seeing it done, we mm. just don't like it. Mm. I compare Giannis to a Google phone and everybody else to the iPhone. What's a Google phone? A Google phone, exactly right. Is that a Google? It's a, no, it's a phone. Google has their own phone. And Google's phones actually have a better camera than the iPhone. I High bet. quality pixels, yeah. et cetera. They function with just as much efficiency, if not more, than the iPhone. Oh. But mm. we all ask ourselves, what's a Google phone? Because we're not used to a Google phone. And so while it is mm. actually just as efficient and just as productive as yeah. the iPhone, yeah. we're used to the iPhones because they slicker. They smoother. Mm. They got better commercials. Mm. But a Google phone is actually just as quality. Giannis is just as quality, productive, efficient as the greatest finals performers of all time. Really? But because he don't look the part, we're like, uh, he still got a lot to prove. He ain't got nothing left to prove, big dog. Dang, man. I, you put so much into that take. Now, maybe it's because you're nominated for so many damn Emmys. You know they're watching, so you got to do it like that. But, woo, you put a little too much on that. Too much you know sauce? what I'm saying? That's like when you go to grandma, like, oh, I like your French toast, grandma. Let me have some more. She said, oh, baby, I'm going to make up a new batch. More nutmeg. You be like, nah, grandma. <laughs> not more nutmeg. Now it just got sweet tooth up in here. You got sweet tooth up in here. Oh, when Giannis is shooting, they shooting. Ah, made you look. Nobody looking out there when he's shooting because he can't shoot. And that's what his problem is. That's the problem right here. One, let me give him his flowers first. I'm going to give him half a dozen. He ain't getting a full dozen like you just gave him. He doesn't deserve a full dozen. He don't get no bouquet. He get the off-ramp flowers. You know what I'm talking about? Ralph's flowers. Six, not a dozen. He's great. He is great, 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 and improving. Mm -hmm. Why is he improving? Because they tried to build the Giannis wall in years past, and that hasn't translated in this series in terms of building the Gian Giannis wall and stopping his game. He is finding ways to get through and penetrate and live where he's most comfortable in the paint and still getting his buckets. I love that. You said this, but let me say it a different way. In a world of shooters, he can still score mm. without being able to really shoot. Mm -hmm. Now, that may sound like a slight, but in actuality, that is a guy who's like, look, these are my rules. These are my games. These are my tools, and I will use those accordingly and still get what I want. Basically, Giannis is dictating terms out there. Mm -hmm. He knows that he goes out there and tries to shoot from the three-point line. Oh, my God. Nine attempts in these finals so far. He's only made three. Shooting 22%, fourth worst percentage from a three since... 1980 in the finals. So somebody, Budenholzer, I don't know who knows him. You sound like it the way you fanboy him. You need to tell him, hey, bro, stop that part because that's the only wart on your game right now. But if you look at him, Acho, and his Google phone he's trying to use, mm -hmm. when we know that Jordan, LeBron, Steph, KDs, all the finals greats that we know, mm -hmm. they all got the iPhone for yes, a sir. reason. Yes, sir. You know the easiest way to get in that ball in the basket is where Giannis lives, in the paint.
But the second easiest way is if you're going to get out the paint, learn how to work outside the paint. That's why I stopped short of all the greatness in terms of accolades you give him, because he still has that limiting factor mm -mm. to his game. Mm -mm. No, no. No, his sir. Shooting is his undermine right there. Yes, his sir? shooting is the one thing that you got to look at as a crutch for his game. And when they effectively put him in positions where he must shoot, that's when you see the worst version of Giannis. We have not yet seen that in these finals yet. But there's still a game of adjustments to play, and they may put them in those positions. You are not wrong. See? That's all. However, you are incomplete. Had this conversation with somebody the other day, so everybody in life has baggage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you just look at one individual's baggage, just understand, the next individual you look at will have baggage as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody has flaws in their game. Right. Why do we highlight Giannis's as if they are some sort of extreme flaws? Steph Curry, he got no post game. Luka Doncic, he fatigues in the fourth quarter. LeBron James, when he was winning titles early on, he had no three-point shot. Everybody has flaws in their game. It's just Giannis's flaws we highlight because they're different than the other flaws. Because uh, Steph mm -hmm. can still shoot. LeBron still had a great mid-range, and Luka, obviously, he can shoot from anywhere on the mm -hmm. floor. But all those players have limitations, and we've seen all of their limitations. So why do we continue to highlight Giannis's limitations and overlook everything he does well? Everybody got baggage in life. Understand that. And everybody in the NBA has shortcomings. Giannis does have a shortcoming. I would be ignorant and naive to act as though the dude has a great jump shot. Mm -hmm. We know he doesn't. But everybody got flaws. Yep. Giannis is still finding a way to overcome his flaws and navigate the court efficiently and effectively, more so than just about anybody we have seen, mm. while also getting dubs. Because uh. remember, so... No, no, no. First of all, he doesn't have dubs. He, gotta, he has a dub. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. The hyperbole. Dub. Okay, he got dubs in the playoffs. Dubs in the playoffs. Singular. <laughs> but look, here's, but, a, here's what we ignored, and what? I ignored it as well. Remember when Giannis knocked out KD? Giannis not called KD the greatest player in the world. Brooklyn Nets, well, Milwaukee, I don't know why you're looking you at me like that. Knocked knocked you knocked mean knocked out KD? You mean knocked out Kyrie? You knocked him out? knocked half of Harden. He didn't knock out KD. I but, know one team won the game, and the team that won the uh, series yeah, had Giannis team on it. Yeah, team talk. However, we ignored the fact that Giannis led his team, the collection, to victory. We ignored the fact that Game seven, can we admit, is more important than game five in any series? Coach Lopez had 33 in can game five. Can we admit that game seven <laughs> Chris Middleton is, had on the can, we admit, can we admit can that we game admit, seven? No, no, because it's going to help your point. I ain't admitting no, that. No, in life. Game seven is more important than game five. I don't know. We had to get to game seven. I sure. thought that was important sure. as well. But once you were there, game seven is Never more important. Never game seven. Play football. He talking. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Durant, Marcellus what? Wiley was 0 for 6 in game seven in overtime. Yeah. So the biggest moment of the biggest game. Wait a minute. Who was Giannis? Why am I waiting? Two for two? Why am I waiting? Who was Giannis? I don't know why I'm waiting. What, what, what was Giannis? The biggest moment <laughs> you know, of like the biggest game oh, of Kevin Durant's career. See, I'm trying to be nice. This season, sir, mm -hmm. he was 0 for 6. Giannis was 2 for 2, but all it took was four points to win in overtime. Yeah, he didn't know that when he was shooting only four points. All it took was four <laughs> points. <laughs> we that ignored later. it. We ignored Giannis's greatness. You're continuing to ignore Giannis's greatness, oh, but no. I got an hour and 50 no, 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 more no. minutes no, no, no. to convince you. I, I, I want that convincing. By the time, what, two more hours, you said? Hour and 50? Hour 50. What button gonna be left on that shirt? <laughs> you getting loose already, boy. By the end of the show, you're gonna be out here butt naked. Here's the thing. It's not the fact that he has baggage. Everyone then has... what is it, Sal? Be real. What no, is it? I just had to drop a daughter off at the airport yesterday. Is she gone? Yeah, but she coming back for one week vacation, but it ain't the same. She gone. Dang. She unpacked the bag. She out the crib. Yay. Um, she gone. Oh, damn. She going to gra grad school. And, you know, my daughter still is balling on a budget. Mm -hmm. She know daddy balling, but um, you on a budget. So that's life. So she's still, you know, two carry-ons, that's it. You know, economy line, stand in front, you know, curbside. Go ahead, baby, do what you do. You got to climb this mountain. Um, they do have a limit before they start saying, you know what, we're going to have to start taxing your ass. They're going to start paying for those extra bags, right? Mm -hmm. Giannis doesn't just have one bag. <laughs> he got too many damn bags, dog. And then some of them overweight. Here's the thing. 50 pounds is the limit. I learned that yesterday. Um, Yalish is not just a bad outside the paint shooter, as we talked about before. Oh, my God. 28% from outside the paint. Worst by a player averaging that many points in the finals since 2015. Well, LeBron did it. Why do I bring up LeBron? I don't know. Because we will talk about the greats in not-so-flattering terms. LeBron, that Cavs series that they lost to the Warriors four games or two, LeBron didn't shoot well outside the paint. In part, he had to do so much. 
But then we talk about Giannis. It's not just one bag. Okay, outside the paint, he's pretty bad. What about the free throw line? Oh, he's shooting better. Better as in 66% from the finals, which is pretty bad. Four fourths among players to average 30 points in the final series since 1980. But now we got two bags. One of them look overweight. You fourth worst ever. Then we talk about his three-point percentage. Fourth worst ever. <laughs> no, you can't keep talking about how great he is. And then I got three line items, three major categories where the guy is not out there performing to the same level. That's the problem. And that's what's on Phoenix right now. It's going to be on Monty Williams to go out there, force him to be in the positions where he's not so flattering. When you look at these things, I could point, push him out the paint, or I could get him to the free throw line, or I could just make him say, hey, you got to shoot three-pointers. That's the thing. Giannis is right now hiding in plain sight. He's hiding under that rim. Get his ass out under that rim see what happens to But here's, the, here's what I got to highlight, Sal, and I'm well, going to personalize it. I'm going to personalize oh, it. I hope so. I'm, 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 I'm very much so pigeon-toed. You probably see me walk down the hallways. That's what uh, that is. Knees, yeah, knees pointing in, my toes be pointing yeah, like yeah. that. People yeah. always used to clown me in college for being pigeon-toed. The way I walk, my hips, pronate inwards, it's whatever. But then I would remind them, I still made it to the NFL. So oh, while oh, clown. you can clown my yeah. shortcomings physically, yeah. I still overcame the shortcomings to arrive at the NFL. Okay. Giannis does have shortcomings. We can highlight all of those. All right. But he has still overcome all of those shortcomings mm. to be a two-time finals MVP. Okay. Now, it's simple. Just make Giannis shoot freeze, threes. Make him shoot free throws. Foul him. Keep him outside the paint. But somehow, he's still one of only four players in finals history since the merger to have 41, 13, and 6, along with the likes of Magic Johnson, LeBron James and mm. Kevin Durant, two all-time greats in Kevin Durant. Oh, really? So, with all of that being said, Sel, we can look at the deficiencies, but why would you? Back-to-back 40-point -back games. We have not seen that since the likes of the Michael Jordans of the world, the Shaquille oh. O'Neal's of the oh. world, averaging 30-point double doubles. We didn't look at Shaq and say, he can't shoot threes. He can't handle the ball. Oh, yes, we ball. did. He, no, we didn't. We you know why we didn't say he can't shoot threes? Why? Because he wasn't trying to shoot threes. Giannis is only trying to shoot nine. What do you mean only? Nine. Your butt is seven feet damn Sell. near. You shouldn't four, even try eight, to shoot nine if you're not Brooke Lopez. What is it? Four, eight, we played three That's games. Two, three what? games. That's four, eight, 12 quarters, and he shot nine threes. Giannis ain't really trying to shoot no threes dog, either. He's just out there, you know what I'm saying? Dog. Seeing what's going to happen. <laughs> seeing what, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it goes in. Maybe it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. I'm not going to sit here and let you Act like lane. Giannis oh. is not doing the same things oh. Shaq, Braun, KD did. Oh, well, well, he's doing something Kobe did. I guess that makes you feel good, except this wasn't flattering for Kobe either. Giannis is the only other player to shoot this bad outside the paint since Kobe Bryant did it in 2004. So, yeah, you want to attach him to great players and great names? Go ahead. He's going to be attached to LeBron in 2015 when he couldn't shoot outside the paint too much on his load. It's going to be Kobe Bryant 2004 when he tried to carry too much when he had that mega super team that was kind of compromised, old, and injured. This is the point. So is Giannis trying to Why do too much? Does it matter? Let me, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's Why do you think I'm, I'm not being yelling. real? Because I ain't unbuttoned? I'm still, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to stop yelling. Can yeah. we calm down? Okay, let's do that. Why do we have to par parse out what Giannis doesn't do well? Tom Brady does not run the court, run the ball very well at the quarterback position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tom, he does a phenomenal job QB sneaking. He doesn't run the ball incredibly well as a quarterback position. Aaron Rodgers can run it better. Mahomes can run it better. He's probably one of the worst mobile quarterbacks. Yeah. In the but we don't sit there and say, man, Tom Brady can't run. Tom Brady's arm really isn't all that strong anymore. And it was never mm. superiorly mm. strong. Okay. His anticipation was great. His technique is great. His throwing motion is great. He gets the ball out, and he's incredibly great and incredibly cerebral. But we could look at any individual yeah. as an individual level or on a collective level and say what they don't do well. Mm. But as long as you get your numbers and you win, why are we still doing that? Barry Sanders, he was not going to run nobody ever over. No, Emma he Smith, he probably wasn't going to shake you out your shoes. But Barry Sanders is an all-time great. Emmett Smith is an all-time great. Everybody <clears throat> got a flaw, Sal. So my okay. question to you is, yeah. why sit here and focus on the flaw? He gave you 41, 13, and 6. I, I Get a dub. I got to tell you, um, because when you have shortcomings, and he has shortcomings, it's not of just course. necessarily himself and these line items. It's the fact that his team has shortcomings. So think about this equation. When things go well, Tom Brady, mm -hmm. we always say, wow. Why did they go so well? And we inflate the positives. When things fall short, when things go wrong, and you're Peyton Manning for all those years, or you're Giannis in this situation, still hasn't won it all, what's going wrong? What are those shortcomings? It's just we want to know why did it go so well for you, Brady, 
And why isn't it going so well for you, Giannis, okay. despite you individually contributing as much as you can? That's just a simple narrative conversation. Okay. Let's talk about you, Acho, since you want to personalize it, your pigeon toe butt. Um, since you're pigeon toe, you act like that, okay, you got back at all the haters for clowning you because you made it to the NFL. Mm -hmm. But the haters didn't necessarily follow you to the NFL, but that criticism did. Mm -hmm. And it, it materialized. It in, did. It did. You couldn't cover the running backs. Like you, right? Because them. Them toes was inside, you had to go out. And you're like, what the hell happened to you? You're not wrong. You're right? You're not wrong. Me and you talk, bro. I know how it goes. Look, I had shortcomings as well. I had a back curvature. If you ever see me walk, I could grab my wallet like this, my booty way up here. I know how I'm built. And I get to the combine, they like, and I'm like, why y'all staring at my x-ray and MRI so damn long? I'm thinking that. And then they finally come to me. They said, you ever go to the doctor for this curvature? It was like, it's pretty extreme. I was like, no, 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 no. First injury I have, non-contact. First year starting, not even played a game fully yet. You know what it was? Back surgery. Sometimes it just follows you, man. It's not even about what they're talking about. It's the fact that Giannis in this situation, some of the stuff okay. is going to follow him, and it's going to show his ugly head at the wrong so time. So the issue then, and, I'm, and this is a nuanced conversation nuanced. that I haven't seen yet, is nuanced. that Giannis' shortcomings are keeping his team short of winning a chip. That is, that is where you're drawing the line. Whereas Shaq's shortcoming, in theory, it didn't keep them short of winning the chip, but they did have Kobe. LeBron's shortcoming, right. in theory, it didn't right. keep them short of winning a chip. Um, Kevin Durant, I guess his shortcomings didn't keep him short of winning a chip, although he had Steph and Curry and Klay Thompson. They all got but somebody. All of them. Is that, is that the reason that you're not giving Giannis the credit he deserves and you're highlighting his <laughs> shortcomings because his team is coming short thus far? Well, yes, in part. I'm not giving him this full credit because it hasn't fully materialized into full success. So that's why. Now, here's another reason. Let's be real about this. If he does overcome his shortcomings, mm -hmm. which means outside the paint, three-point line, mm -hmm. free throw line, think about it. That game was a blowout. So we never got it to hack a Giannis mm -hmm. or whatever that mm -hmm. may look like. Imagine there's a closely contested game going forward, and they're going to hack a Giannis, and he falls short. But he had 41 points, and then all of a sudden he can't make his free throws. We got a different conversation. Here's my only real issue with Giannis, because you're right. I'm over here digging in the weeds looking for criticism. But not this part. This one steps up. This one stands out. The Bucs are living off of crowd noise and comfort. Think about it. As a team, be real. If this was your team and you were, you were Giannis, y'all Nigerian, you got something going. I ain't getting into no Stephen A stuff, so I'm going to stop there. So here's the thing. Y'all looking around, you and Giannis looking around, this is your team. You're like, why am I getting a different version of Drew Holiday? Shout out to Campbell Hall, LA's finest. Why am I getting a different version of Chris Middleton when I'm here versus when I'm gone in this series? And that's the problem. When you're the greatest version of yourself as a leader, you all of a sudden fill those voids for those guys. You make them feel comfortable when they're uncomfortable. You tell them, I will be the noise in your head, the crowd noise, not white noise. Somehow, some way, he hasn't fully activated his squad based off of his talents and his production. But I'm not slighting him. I told you, I'm going to get on the off-ramp. Here's six roses. The other half come after y'all win this series.